Hello everyone, welcome back to Form of Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out No More X by TO1. This is TO1's latest comeback coming off of their Son of a Beast comeback earlier this year, which was fantastic and it marked a great uh, new direction forward for TO1, a new mature, much more stylized direction. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they've got in store for us with No More X. Now, oftentimes in K-pop music, uh, the X is stylized to be a center for um, a swear word. Uh, so like No More X could be like no more bullshit or no more, you know, whatever. Uh, that's not to say that that's exactly what they're going to use it for here, but maybe. So uh, I'm going off the assumption that this might be a bit of an edgier song. So we'll see. Uh, before we get into the video, of course, if you want to support our video, uh, we don't make money doing these videos on our YouTube channel. So uh, if you want to support us on Patreon, you can. We have bonus reactions over there. We have reactions to uh, variety shows, K-dramas, survival shows. You know, we checked out uh, Kingdom, Road to Kingdom, which TO1 was also on, uh, Road to Kingdom, that is. And then um, we also have listening parties on there as well. So if you want to check that out, you can visit our Patreon. If not, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and check out the video. This is No More X by TO1, and this is your form of therapy. Dum 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 Ooh. Oh, this is a great hook. Classic K pop hook, but very good. Wow, this guy with the red hair. He can sing. Ooh. Ooh. No more. Wow. All right. So no more X by TO1. A very heavily stylized music video, a very catchy hook, and a very aggressive song, but still 
very much in line with Son of a Beast. I, I don't know if it's maybe the same producer, but the catchiness of the song, it definitely has a very quick, easy to memorize easy like you hear it out in the open you're at the grocery store you're at a cafe you hear it playing it's gonna stick with you it's not a song that has to work to grab your attention that's very very good um son of a beast was very much like that too but uh as opposed to like this is a little bit more repetitive but because of that it's definitely more of an earworm as the kids say like like dun 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 no, 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 no. I think it's just, it's a very basic rhythm, but at the same time, um, I feel like our minds are more hardwired to recognize basic patterns and we favor more basic patterns. And that might be why that I really, really, really love this song. I think I, out of all the TO1 songs that we've heard so far, uh, this is my favorite of their uh, title tracks. And this is including um, pre, you know, rebranding as well. And also, noti like noticeably, since their rebranding, the quality of their music videos has also gotten better. Son of a Beast was a fantastic music video. It was also very stylish. Um, and the color palette is very different from here, but it was a very colorful music video as well. And I liked it a lot. But No More X also takes it to another level. I feel like the music video production here was even better, especially all of the outdoor scenes, all of the outdoor rain scenes. In fact, I feel like the indoor scenes suffer a lot little bit because the outdoor scenes are so fantastic there's nothing inherently wrong with any of the indoor scenes in this music video uh, if you take like or any of like the scenes right here uh, there's nothing inherently wrong with any of them but you know this something like this definitely looks a little more flat and less dynamic than a shot like this you know what i mean so i'm def like it definitely sounds like a backhanded compliment it's not meant to be uh i i'm just saying that the outdoor scenes are so fantastic. They are so above anything they've ever done. And I would say even just across the K-pop cinematography spectrum, it's shot so, so well. And the way they color graded these blacks too looks really, really good. If you guys don't mind, let me just re-watch this section again on both my monitors. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, another thing is that their color grading in their outdoor scenes are, are a lot harsher than their indoor color grading scenes, um, probably because they had a lot more light to work with in their outdoor scenes, so they can push a lot of the colors. And so you really get a lot of these very rich blacks, um, and you also uh, are getting something you don't get in too many K-pop music videos, but I'm double-checking on multiple monitors just to make sure, but you're getting... You're getting some actual melanin. You are getting those rich, uh, very warm skin tones. Uh, the only like uh, light color you see is just because of the of the whites from the light. Uh, but you know, a lot of K-pop music videos tend to desaturate their videos to give their K-pop idols the very pale white look, um, which is very unnatural and makes them look like zombies. But here. Uh, they, I, I would say this color grading style is like closer to uh, the stylish American filmmaker style. Um, uh, definitely like the new emerging American filmmaker indie scene as well. Like it's a lot more stylish. It's, uh, it's like heavily playing off of like trying to make it look like more the modern vintage film look. So it looks really, really cool. Like the, like, oh my God, just, oh my God. Oh, and also the classic teal and orange color scheme too. Very, very indie filmmaker vibes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks, it looks fantastic. This video looks just so good um, on, on that spectrum. Uh, another thing that I really liked about this music video, uh, it's both a hit or a miss. I guess it, it's really dependent. I, I would like to know your guys' thoughts. Um, one of the members, uh, I think his name is, it might be Chan, uh, the one in the center right here. I, I know you can't see his face, but he's the one with the bandaged look. I'm, I'm seeing if I can get a close up of him. Um, him right here. 
Uh, so one of my things that I have been saying since their debut, frankly, uh, is this guy is so eye-catching. And him as a performer is so visually interesting. Like, he really captures your attention. He is definitely uh, a diamond that is shining. And I felt like in previous music videos, they underutilized him, uh, especially in, I think, Son of a Beast. Uh, I was like, they need to give this guy more lines because, you know, it, when you have a big group like this, I know, like, line distribution and all that is... It, it can be very debatable amongst fans. But... When you're very early on in your career like this, you kind of have to give like a majority of your lines to the people who are kind of like the visuals and the centers and the people who are the really good singers. And I think he does count as a visual. I think he does count as a center. I think he really has the center power. And I just felt like he did not have that same impact in all the other music videos. But in No More X, he really, really, like, I feel like breaks through this video. So much so that I feel like they overuse him in this music video. They use him a lot. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I think it's totally dependent on the actual viewer themselves. Uh, I myself... Totally okay with it because, you know, I'm I'm a fan of this guy. I think he really, really has something special. I really think that if you utilize him as the main center, uh, he can really capture a lot of new interest for the group. And that's how, you know, uh, marketing for a K-pop group works. So on that end, I think they actually did a really good job with that part of the music video. Again, that's totally up to interpretation and uh, your uh, personal interests as well. Um, I'm also wondering, are they supposed to be vampires? Because they all turned into bats at the end. And there was a lot of like gothic imagery in this music video, a lot of blood related stuff. But also K-pop is bringing back the dance breaks. Huh? They uh, did it in One Us is Luna. Um, they did it in several other music videos. I, I chill and even had one with their fresh music video. Uh, and there's a lot more that I'm sure, um, I'm not naming right now, but, uh, the, the K-pop dance break, it was very prevalent in the early 2010s. Uh, and then it just stopped for a while. And I think now with the heavy emphasis on, um, fourth gen groups and going into fifth gen in the future, uh, there's such a heavy emphasis on performance-based groups and i think shows like kingdom and road to kingdom uh really pushing the theatrical nature of the performance-based groups uh have really brought back the dance breaks so um uh, how did they do here i think i'm gonna probably grade dance breaks going forward in all these music videos i think their dance break was super dope i think it is shocking i think the music video team did such a fantastic job of utilizing this moment Utilizing those sparks, holding it for the dance break, holding this alley scene for the dance break, it was really, really well done. See how it's well lit compared to like here where it's in the rain. Also, something that this music video does really well uh, is capturing the rain scenes. Um, this is actually uh, one of my critiques that I had for I Chillin's Fresh recently. Uh, you should go check that out. Um, their music video, they had a rain scene. Not only was it too brief, which feels like such a waste of all the effort they had to go through to film it, but also they did not capture it really well. You need a lot of light to capture that rain uh, on, on camera, or you need to pour a lot of rain. And look at that. They look like they are being pelted on. It looks like, it looks like it's practically hail. But the thing about like rain scenes is like, they're all, it's all artificial rain. It's all man-made uh, because uh, on camera and on film, uh, when you try to film real rain, it does not show. Real rain is not enough rain to actually show that it's raining. So usually uh, when you film scenes like these, these guys are getting poured on and you also need like the right elements in place to even capture that rain. You know, you have... As you can see you have a lot of fog uh, dispersing in the back, not just here, but a lot of fog dispersing in the back. And then you have this light refracting off the fog here, off the light. And so you've got all these different elements that's really bringing the rain stuff to life. If you look here, you can barely see the rain here compared to the rain here, right? 
that's the problem I had with iChillin's music video is like they did a rain scene and it was in the dark and they were like silhouetted and it's like they're doing a rain scene and you can't even really see the rain. But there were a whole other list of like a whole other list of problems in that video. But, uh, you know, this I just want to compliment uh, T01's team on this. They, they filmed it so well. Um, it really gives the video like the big dramatic push uh, that it really needs. And honestly, this video is kind of overkill. I, I think like they had more than one um, memorable dance scene in this video. And that's the sign of a very good video. Um, by overkill, like, you know, that I definitely don't mean that as a bad thing. That's definitely a good thing on their part. Um, but yeah, that is No More X by TL1. Song, I think, is fantastic. I think it's their best title track yet. Uh, for me, it's definitely my personal favorite because it is definitely a lot more catchier, but uh, it's a lot more, um, I think, engaging as well. Uh, I really like the rapping in this song. The rapping feels a lot more aggressive, a lot more violent, and because of that, it really draws your attention to the singers a lot. Like, the singer's vocals, who the red-haired guy and then the main guy that I really like, I, I don't know any of their names, but the main guy who, I mean, he's he the, the one who's the center right here. Um, their vocals, they have really, really nice, sweet, uh, smooth vocals. And so when you have like such aggressive rapping in a song, it really highlights their members, uh, the, the vocal-driven members even more so. And so I really like that kind of balance in the song. And then the video, you know, as I said, it was also fantastic. Uh, anyways, that is No More X by TO1. Uh, if I had to give this a rating... I would say the song, 9 out of 10. I think the music video is a 9 out of 10. It's a solid 9 out of 10. It's a solid 9 out of 10 concept. Uh, what would have made it a 10 out of 10 for me? I think if the indoor scenes had as much flair and splash as the outdoor scenes did, it, it, it does feel a little bit like there's a drastic jump in quality uh between those two scenes where like one is filmed a little bit more k-pop and then one is like kind of filmed like stylized american style and so um the jarringness of those two color grade styles is a little bit off for me but beyond that nine out of ten is still a very high score for me uh but guys that is no more x by t01 let me know what you guys thought about this comeback in the comments down below uh, what do you guys think about this song compared to their other songs did you like it as much as i did or do you like one of their other songs better let me know why in the comments uh and also let me know what you guys thought about the video i thought it was fantastic uh let me know if it's your favorite music video today because i really think they nailed it this time uh, but guys, thank you for watching the video. If you would like to support the channel, remember you can always visit our Patreon. Uh, you're going to get bonus content over there and you'd be supporting the channel. Of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to. You could always hit the like button down below. You could also subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video. Check out our other videos here and here and we'll see you guys later. Bye. and Have a wonderful day. I flubbed that.